Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video in which I create a quick and fairly easy watercolour flower card for you. If you want to know about my watercolour setup then check out my watercolour cards playlist. I've got a few videos there that explain materials, supplies and techniques. But in this video all I'm doing is very quickly with loose strokes sketching out a bluey purpley flower with a green stem and a green leaf. I tried not to overthink this, I just grabbed my paintbrush, dipped it in my paint that I'd already made up on my palette and made some petal shapes. I did a wet in wet technique where I put down my lighter purple first, then I added my indigo colour on top and I let them bleed together. I also added my stem while my petals were still wet so some of the green from the stem bled into the petals. That's the kissing technique that I talked about in my earlier videos. And then I dried my paint with my hair dryer and let my paper cool and went in with another layer doing exactly the same thing again and this creates some depth. The paler petals appear to be in the background and the darker petals appear to be in the foreground. Once I dried that second layer I used a thin black gel pen to doodle multiple lines loosely around all my petals, my stem and my leaf. This adds some definition and gives it a really loose artistic feel. Some of the lines I went over several times to create that loose doodly feel but also to create a variation in line weight that can look really interesting just to have some thin lines and some thicker lines. I also added some stamens and anthers. This is a completely imaginary flower. It's not based on anything other than the brush strokes that came out of my brush today as I was sitting down to paint. I think the longest part of making this card was the doodling. You might think it's the painting, but it's not, it's the doodling. Painting goes down really quickly, I find, because if you use a big enough brush, you can make big, bold brush strokes and fill up a lot of space that way. But it's the doodling afterwards that I take my time over. To give this a bit of vibrancy and movement, I spattered on some of the paints. The purple spatters were around the petals and the green spatters around the stem and the leaf. To reduce the intensity though I did mop them up by rolling some kitchen paper towel over them and then I dried everything again with my hair dryer. And to add some highlights to my leaves and my petals I went in with a gold gel pen. You could use a white gel pen for this or white bleed proof ink, even a white acrylic pen or anything you like really just to add a bit of lightness and sparkle and shine. I wanted to add this to the card as a panel so I chopped down my piece of watercolour paper and I chopped a little bit off the petals on either side to create a narrow strip of card and then I coloured a piece of mixed media paper with the same watercolours, dried that and then glued my flower panel on top I only wanted a strip of colour down each side, not at the top or the bottom. So once that was all glued down, I went to my guillotine and cut it down to size. My card blank is smooth white cardstock and it's a square card six by six inches. So once my panel was the right size, I used my tape runner, my ATG, to stick it down to the left hand side of my card panel. And for a sentiment, I chose a big, scripty, bold, best wishes stamp. And I stamped that in black because I felt that would complement the black doodling in the flower. I could have stamped it in purple or even green, but I think the black coordinates best. And that's this card done. It didn't take me long at all. As I say, the doodling was the longest part. If I'd used a thicker pen, I might not have needed to doodle quite so much. But I really like the way this has turned out. I hope you do too. 
do let me know if you'd like to see more in-depth watercolour videos from me. I can do some of those if you like. Just leave me a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. And I'll see you back here very soon. Thank you for watching as always. Bye for now.